Welcome everybody to another video. Today I would like to talk about how to integrate Tableau and Figma. And I have developed for myself a process that I usually follow and it is divided into four steps. So I'm gonna walk you through all of these four steps today. The steps are, first of all, finding inspiration, then choosing the device or devices and size or sizes of your dashboard. The third step is to go ahead on Figma and create an image. And the fourth is to import this image as a background and using it in Tableau. So I'm gonna go step by step and give you all of my tips and how I usually um, create my dashboards. So for today, I would like to use as an example a dashboard that I developed around a month ago. And while I show you how to design on Figma for Tableau, I will also show you how to design for the phone in this specific case and also how to design a landing page. So what we have here um, is some sort of yeah, a phone landing page with sales profit and sales versus dashboard. So here's where we can choose which dashboard to look at. So for instance, the first would be sales. I would with a button click to the sales page and then back to home page. And the same for the other two. I will just show you another one and they're all similar. So this is the example I am going to use as a template. So how did I find the inspiration for this dashboard? So what I did is I went on Pinterest and I looked for something like UI design. I think I looked for and something you can type up here, UI design, there you go. And this is the um, interface I liked. And I thought, oh, at first I thought maybe I can reproduce this on Figma with images. Um, I ended up thinking, okay, I will do something a bit more simple for, for that specific time. And as you see, this is actually a screenshot from a phone. So that was the first thing I did. And there's so much inspiration on Figma. I also saw that there's this website called uh, Dribble which uh, is where all of these uh, UI designs come from uh, on Pinterest. So definitely a recommendation to check out Pinterest, Dribbble, even of course, Google search images um, for a lot of inspiration. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. Okay, so once you've found your inspiration, whatever your source of inspiration is, and had an idea of what you want your dashboard to look like, the next thing to do is to choose the device you want it on and the size of your dashboard. All right, so what do I mean by choosing the device and the size? So first of all, this is an empty dashboard. As you see, we have just one sheet. And this just to show you, I'm gonna drag this sheet into the dashboard and we have a size that's a fixed size, uh, desktop browser, of course, we can customize the size from here and decide, okay, I want this size and then go into Figma and use this. Another option we have, however, is to use the device preview, this button right here. So I'm going to click on it. Let me make this a bit smaller so we can see everything. All right. So uh, device preview, we have default. So let's go click here on device type and let's say I want to make a dashboard for desktop. I'm going to click on desktop. So the first thing Tableau does is based on the model, it will suggest me a certain size. So let's say I want to keep a generic desktop monitor. We have a certain size and we also have the ability to add a desktop layout. So I'm going to do that. And then let's say that I want this dashboard to be both on desktop and on the phone. So I'm going to click on phone. Again, this is going to suggest a certain size and offer the ability to add a phone layout. So I'm going to do that as well. Now, if I want to have a dashboard that's fit both for the desktop and for the phone. Now, if I use uh, our tiled uh, uh, way of dragging and dropping, Tableau will basically to some extent, um, adapt my dashboard. So adapt all the sheets to the size. However, if I use an image, this will likely not happen. So to give you an idea of what I mean by that, let's consider this dashboard. So uh, for this dashboard, I used a Figma background. 
you see so i uploaded a picture to figma and then i added some squares and with tableau i added graphs and text on top of that all very nice it fits my custom size perfectly however if i change from default to phone layout this is what happens so tableau will completely <laughs> let's say mess everything up my image is here at the top and all the rest is uh, underneath it as uh, tiled basically tiled elements uh, i can customize it however so if i click on this little icon up here now i have the ability to customize this and make things floating if i want to this way and so what i do suggest is that you create a second image so i would have to go back to figma customize this image to make it fit my new size so the size of the font layout. Okay, so now that we've chosen the size, so let's say that we, uh, we stick with the phone. So we have a generic phone size. That's actually the, the, the size that I used on Figma. So uh, let me show you. Okay, so this is the size. I will go on Figma and create a new file. And this is a part where we design our background image in Figma. So new design file. And the first thing I do is I, with the rectangle, I make a shape, doesn't matter. And then I customize it based on the size I want. So here we have 375. So the width needs to be 375. And the height, 667. There we go. So let's go back and I'm, let me change this color to something different. Okay. All right, so this is where I'm starting. So these are the boundaries of my background image on Figma. So let me show you the one that I actually made for this specific dashboard, which is somewhere here. I had different iterations of it. Uh, I also had it longer for a while. Um, here I played around with it, but the bottom line is, um, I kept this size overall, and then I dragged on top of it some other parts. So actually what I did in this case is I made, so let me show you piece by piece. So I made um, a background with a random color, doesn't really matter, that fits the exact size. The second step was to round the corners. As you see here, I was experimenting, so I rounded three out of four corners. Let me round all of them. And this is a personal choice. I like to round corners. Um, I think it looks quite slick, <laughs> but it's not compulsory, of course. The second thing I did was, okay, how do I want to occupy this space? I wanted three equal parts. So I made, um, I think I divided it by three, and then I, I left a bit of space for the top. So in fact, it's the same width as, as my uh, phone and 200 height. So actually what I did back then was to copy this and paste it and then drag it underneath the first and just change the color. Which the result was this. So, boom. so I did this twice and changed the color. So one, two, and then three. And for the bottom one, I rounded the corner at the bottom so that the final image uh, would have uh, indeed four rounded corners. What I mean by that is if I select this bottom part, you see that I have two rounded corners, right? And then I thought oh, it would be nice to have a space uh, where to add the buttons that I have that is also uh, with rounded corners. And this was the result. It, it took a while, a bit of iterations. I do think I changed this uh, background color. So actually, as you saw earlier, this is the final result for the landing page. So now we can start with our fourth and final phase, which is to use this image that we made in Figma as a background in Tableau. And this part, I'm gonna show you how I achieved the final result. All right, so here we are back in Tableau. What now we need to do is to drag an image object as tiled here so that it applies to the, uh, to the whole dashboard and choose our image that we created in Figma. So I'm gonna choose landing page, apply it, and then fit and center, all right? 
Okay, now we have it in our default uh, view and I'm gonna now work on my phone layout. So I'm gonna switch to phone layout and see that if I were to leave it like this, this is what people would see from their phone. So now I'm gonna go and open this lock and I want to drag this all the way so it fits the entire space. Okay, so now we fit our background image. Now we need to do a bit of back and forth. What I mean by that is whatever we want to put in our uh, phone layout needs to be first in the default. So here I have no sheets. Uh, as you see, this is actually the workbook where I already have um, the final result. So let's go and unhide some sheets so that we can drag and drop something. So it is not the case, but let's say that I want to drag this into the view. I'm going to do this. And this way, when I go to the phone, I will have the possibility to, to drag this sheet, All right? So if I don't first put it in the default, it will not be there. So the last thing I want to show you is that I actually use some navigation buttons. I drag them as floating objects on top of the three uh, colors I have, the three different banners. I guided myself uh, by showing the grid and that's you can also guide yourself as in, in centering the object by using the layout pane with the X and Y. And yeah, what I did was to edit the button to uh, make, uh, to link to whatever dashboard I wanted. Then I made the background transparent and I customized the text. I had it say sales on one, profit on the other, and at the bottom one, sales versus profit. So here is a test, uh, I'm showing you how it works. Uh, please remember to put your uh, dashboard in full screen, otherwise this will not work. And here we are. So here is how we navigate from page to page. And this is the original one where of course we can navigate back and forth. Uh, and the back to home page is again, just a navigation button that I put at the top of the three dashboards. So that was it for this Figma Plus Tableau tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any requests or any comments, please leave them down below. And thank you so much. See you next time.